Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. My name is Ike and today I will be unboxing my first ever 4K Apple TV product. As many of you have known, I have been on the home theater journey for the last couple of months and finally putting together a dedicated home theater space for my family. And there's this is one thing that I've never owned. I've always been an Nvidia Shield Fire TV type person. Never, never even entertained the idea of the Apple TV 4K, but you know, over the last couple of years, there's been a lot of hype about it. You know, a lot of, I know a lot of people that can attest to it being a really great product. And you know, once I got the home theater together, I figured I'd give it a try and see what it's really about. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Make sure I got everything. There you go. So, first impression. This looks really clean and sleek. Compared to my Nvidia Shield, I think it's the 2019 that I have. This is really a good a good font size for a streaming box. Let's just put this aside and see what else we got in the box. See, I've never really been an Apple guy. You know, I got my first Apple product when I got the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Just what, about a year ago and that was about the only Apple product that I have owned and now I am going with the Apple TV 4k and I recently made the decision to get another Apple product that we will talk about in a different video but let's get back to this you have power cable you have the remote yeah, well, let's see what else we got in here. We got what looks like instruction manuals for those of you who like to read and, and follow instructions. And yeah, looks like it. No HDMI cable. Not, I mean, I have a couple of them lying around, but expected a little more than this, but hey, not sure what else, but. Those are the basic things that I need. So let's take a look and see what the remote looks like. Yeah. Interesting. I like the metallic color. It looks very simple. But I hope this has some type of remote finder like the NVIDIA Shield because it looks like something that I will be looking for three times a day. Just like every other thing we have to do three times a day, like, you know. But it does look sleek, it does look clean. I like the metallic look that it comes with. It looks very smooth. Yeah, let's put this and you got standard power cable. And there you go. Wow, this is lightweight. It does look like a fingerprint magnet though, but it's gonna be sitting in the rack, so we'll probably have, have to worry more about dust and fingerprint when we're done. Uh, okay, let's take this sticker out. And there you go. You have the, the power port. You have the ethernet cable port, which is really good. You know, I think that there's, there's a second option, which I did go with the bigger one, the 128 gig. I think one of them does not come with this, with their ethernet port. So that's something you might want to look into. I prefer to have all my electronics in the home theater and just about everything across the house had wired to ethernet versus Wi-Fi. And then you have the HDMI port 
and I believe this is HDMI 2.1 hope you can see that much clearer it's HDMI 2.1 port yeah, let's see there's another sticker here I need to get out okay but I must confess this looks pretty sleek it's a lot smaller than I thought but it looks like the older versions used to be a little bit bigger but I've never owned one of this so this is my first so excuse my ignorance you know but yeah that's about all we have in the box is a little surprising I'm not sure what I was expecting but I guess maybe it's because it's the first time I'm unboxing one of these and let's go and try to set it up in the home theater I'm going to just take a break plug it in and try to walk you through my initial setup and see how it goes I'll be right back 4k plugged in took me a couple of minutes to just get around the theater rack and let's see what we get looks like it started English menu Choose United States. Data privacy. I wish we really took time to read all of this. And automatically set up your Apple TV. Use your iPhone. Wow. Okay. Well, good thing I have an iPhone. Let's try that. Set up an iPhone. Okay. Unlock your iPhone, connect to a Wi-Fi, turn on Bluetooth. Let me do that. My Bluetooth is turned on. And hold the device close to the Apple TV. So, I set up on my phone. It's setting up the Apple TV. Do you want to require a password on purchasing? So, for now we're just going to require and we're setting up the iPhone. Continue. I really don't care much about car. I mean, I could possibly change that if I find a need to. But let's see, we have this in the home theater. See the wall, the error screen saver, and you can enjoy HD. Uh, video, okay, we can update. First is about 800. Let's give this a try. No. You guys ever read all of this really really important stuff or well, just like me we just agree terms and condition we agree and there you have it this is one thing I've always admired about Apple TV whenever I got the opportunity to you know take a look at it at friends 
is just how clean the interface looks. It's interesting. You can now add three months of Apple Play. Yeah, we can get back to that. Yeah, so just first impression, the interface is clean. Compared to the NVIDIA Shield TV, this is relatively clean. Now, the one thing that I'm pretty certain will always take me back to my NVIDIA Shield is just the fact that I get more flexibility in terms of just what I want to do. Hint, hint, third party. Uh, okay, let's... I had to figure out this controller. It's the remote, rather. I used to have an iTunes account. I don't know what happened to it. I'll probably need to check and take a look. And set it up. Okay, I can do some of this, but there you go. This is probably one of the easiest setups that I've had to do in terms of streaming boxes. I've tried the NVIDIA Shield tried the fire TV stick, all of it, almost all of it. And tried a couple of other third party stream boxes and this one looks clean, this looks smooth. And I'm looking forward to just setting it up and hopefully in a couple of weeks or you know, sometime in the near future I can do a comparison video between the Apple TV 4K and the NVIDIA Shield. I am pretty sure that there's a lot of videos out there for that. But yeah, I'll, I'm looking forward to just, you know, adding to that and seeing what the differences really are. There are a couple of things that, you know, I already know. For example, you know, third party access and the fact that the Apple TV is, you know, Apple and closed, almost a closed environment, you know, compared to the Android platform where you get to have a lot of flexibility. But yeah, thanks for, you know, watching. And if you want to see more of this, um, please do subscribe to the channel. I'm looking forward to, you know, putting out more content in this new year. And for those of us, those of you that have always supported the channel and my long-term subscribers, thank you for all your support. And the goal is to continue to put out more content in this new year and to try to grow the channel. So thank you for all your support. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.